Hey y'all. Welcome to Receive and Relate if you're new here. Welcome back if you're not new here. Thank you for coming back. Um, my name is Prophetess Tara Walker. And I greet you in the name of Jesus. I'm so glad you're here today. Um, that sounded real churchy, but we just gonna go with it. <laughs> but yeah, it's glad, I'm glad to be back. I know it's been a few days uh, since I came on here and released the video, but I have a beautiful word for you all today. Yes, 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 yes. Um, so we're just gonna get right into it. What I'm going to try to do, y'all, I, I forget. <laughs> I said I was gonna write it in my notes underneath my scriptures that I wrote down. Because I tend to forget what I'm going to say when I close out the video. And then when I close out the video, I'll be like, dang, I forgot to mention that. Dang, I forgot to mention that. This. But um, I'm going to do my best to try to remember at the end. Okay? So, you know, don't hold me to it. If I forget, it will be in the description box. Please check the description box when you finish the video. But yes, I have a beautiful word for you today. Girl, let me tell you something. Listen. It's not even going to be... I, you've seen the title already, right? It's not even going to be that deep. Y'all gonna think it's gonna be it's not even that deep. It's real simple, straight to the point. When God when God showed me it. So God, okay, the video is um the word of the Lord is how how he wanted me to teach you all or tell you all how he um taught me how it was I was how he taught me to be able to forgive people and how it's easy for me to forgive people, right? So he God taught me that he gave me this first when he first told me this, it was like a couple years ago, right? But what happened was the other day, I was reading my scriptures, and he reminded me again, right? Uh, because I, for me, what I have to do, and I mean, if I could give some unsolicited advice for you, this is what you should do too. Do forgive, your, forgive them daily, right? And that way it becomes, because you know, you know how they say it's, it takes 21 days to break a habit? And it takes also 21 days to develop a habit, right? Do this daily. When you forgive your enemies daily, it's like it becomes um, rep it be not repetitive. That's the word. It becomes like a normal thing to do, which is what God wants you to do. It also helps you to, because it's it's also a process. We know it's not it's, the, it's not going to take it's not going to be overnight. We know it's a process. You know, there's some things that somebody did you maybe five, six years ago that you're still forgiving them for because you'll think about it, you'll get mad, you'll still forget. But that's God knows that, right? But when he see you actively forgiving, that's what he loves because you're actively walking out his word. I hear you, Holy Spirit, which is to forgive your enemies, right? And love them. So he told me this a few years ago, a couple years ago or so, but he reminded me when I was reading my scriptures the other day. And then I said, you know what, Lord? I, th I feel like that'd be a good topic. And so I wrote it down um, for the people. Because um, I know it's not. And, and especially, too, you know, we we tend, because we humans, we tend to weigh uh, we, or, like, compare. Well, what happened to you is not what happened to me. What happened to me is unforgivable. You know what I'm saying? But it don't matter. <laughs> None of it compares to what happened to Christ. Come on, somebody. Not, not that thing that you went through that compares to what he went through, right? I just, listen, I can't even fathom. Every time I see, a, like, a Christian movie, it don't matter what it is, especially the passion. I don't know what it is about the passion. But the I weep when I watch the passion like it's the very first time I wept when I saw it. I mean, I'm talking about uncontrollable tears. I was crying in the theater. I drove, I cried when I drove home. <laughs> Listen, the passion does it for me. I don't know what it is. And then, you know, I love to watch the series, The Chosen, but I haven't gotten to, I don't know if they did it on season four, but I haven't gotten to the part where he did the crucifixion yet. But I'm pretty sure it would be the same, right? But anyway, let me get into this. Good. Let me tell you what the Lord said. It's not even ready. Let me tell you what he said. Let me tell you what he said. Listen, you ready for this? Holy Spirit told me, he said, forgive them for what they did to you because I forgave you for what you did to me. Yeah, I would grab my pearls if I had some. Because <laughs> that's how I was. I was like, <gasps> you want to hear it again? Let me hear it again. Like, here, here it go. He said, forgive your enemies, talking to me, for what they did to you, talking to me. Because I, meaning him, God, the Father, forgave you, meaning me, for what they did, for what you did to me, meaning him. That's it. It, it ain't even deep, is it? It ain't even deep. But it was so, uh, it was like, 
I don't want to say like a slap in the face, but you know how it's some, it's like a mic drop thing. That's what it was. It was pretty much like a mic drop thing. Because he was like, how you can't forget it, but I forgave you for what you did. And let me tell you something. I ain't even released all my testimony, but when, whenever God released me to do, you know, some of y'all going to be like, oh. But the Holy Spirit also has taught me how not to care what people think because everybody got some type of skeleton in their gloves. I said that before, you know, it doesn't matter what it is. Somebody got something or some things. It's just more, it's just some people are more brave to speak about it openly than others. Some people will be quicker to judge others who speak about it openly because they too they will they too scared to speak about it openly you know what i'm saying they they rather keep their stuff quiet that don't nobody know but them god and the devil <clears throat> but will judge you for what you did because it's out in the open you see what i'm saying that's how fickle people are you know but god don't work like that thank goodness but anyway that's what he said and i ain't even gonna be i shouldn't be didn't even be no long video for you because it was just that profound what he said he said forgive them for what they did to you because I forgave you for what you did to me. And every time I think about, and I know, don't get me wrong, I know God has forgiven me, but because of my relationship, that's why I come on here and tell y'all all the time. I really implore you, if you do not have a relationship with God, please get a relationship with him. It's better than any relationship you have ever had. It's better than a relationship with your spouse, uh, you know, your best friend, whoever, whoever's very close to you, it is the best relationship you'll ever have because he's sweeter than a honeycomb. He's just so amazing, right? So, um, and when I say that, I say that because sometimes I think about, you know, what I did because it's human, you know, what I've done or what I've done in the past, you know, sometimes Satan will, you know, bring it up and sometimes I'll just have a random thought myself and I'll just get emotional all over again. I'll just be like, Lord, I'm so sorry. And I repent all over again. I'm so sorry because I, because I had that relationship. I hate when I, oh, this girl had a pretty color in her head. Sorry. I hate when, um, I hurt God. I hate when I feel like I hurt his feelings. I hate it. I, when I, I hate it. I hate it. Y'all. I hate when I feel like I've hurt hurt God's feelings. Um, so when he said that, I was like, okay. <laughs> say less, Lord. Say less. So let me read you some scriptures because you know I got some, some word for you. Like I said, I ain't even going to be before you. I hope y'all can hear me okay because it is warm out here today. And uh, the sun was sunning, but it's, it's a little warm out here and I had to turn the air on. Okay? So we have... Um, Colossians 3 for 13. I got it both in the um, King James Version and the ERV, which is called the Easy to Read Version. Colossians 3 to 3 13. And there's several several scriptures in the word of the Lord, of course, for forgiveness, right? But he highlighted these these two that I'm about to read. For bearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, also do ye. ERV says, Colossians 3.13, don't be angry with each other, but forgive each other. If you feel someone has wronged you, forgive them. And then Ephesians 4.32, uh, uh, King James Version says, be kind and loving to, to each other. Forgive each other the same as God forgave you through Christ. I'm sorry, that's the ERV. That was the ERV, correction. That was Ephesians 4.32 in the ERV. And then in the KJV, it says, And be ye kind one to another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another, even as God, for Christ's sake, have forgiven you. And ain't that what he said? <laughs> he said, I said, ain't, yeah, I said, Forgive them because I forgave you for what you did. So y'all, that is what I'm telling you. It wasn't no, it wasn't real deep, was it? It wasn't. It was straight, simple, and to the point. But that's what helps me, because he forgave me for me being when I was a whole heathen out here in these streets. And listen, I wasn't. I said this before in another video. I wasn't always a heathen before Christ. I was a heathen in Christ. Oh yes, <laughs> oh yes. She, me, her has backslidden several times. Knew better. On the way to the sin, praying to God, forgive me. Okay. And so when he released me to get those testimonies, that'll be a whole, that's a whole nother video. Like that's, 
you know there's a lot of details in that video of that testimony of those particular those particular sins uh so that'll be a story for another time or being cage girl too which is my upcoming memoir part one but um but yeah so y'all just practice forgiving every day tell god you forgive your enemies every day every, even when, if you don't feel you're not always gonna feel it don't be led by your feelings okay be obedient because that's christ's word he said forgive your enemies and love them right lay them at god's feet but when you continue to do because it's a process then it becomes a habit then it becomes a like oh yeah then it becomes you start to you, when you forgive him so much you'll it'll it'll start to not hurt as much anymore and then it's like oh yeah it's second nature you know so continue to do that and do it <laughs> because God forgave you. And not just because he gave you, but because he died on the cross for you before you was even thought of, right? Yeah. Because you was even, before you was even thought of, he forgave you. He forgave you before he even knew, you, you knew, he knew what you was going to get ready to do, the sin you was getting ready to do. Ain't God awesome? God is amazing, Right? So that is the word today, you all. That is how I is. It, it, it helps me to forgive others because I remember when God forgave me. I remember the grace He gave me. And I'm telling y'all, some of the things I shouldn't even be here for. I'm listen, thank God for uh, the grace Him dying because of Old Testament. Listen, I wouldn't even be here no more. God has swallowed me up in the earth. <laughs> listen, I've been gone. Okay. So we thank God for his grace. May he always get the glory. Hallelujah. May he always get the glory. Um, thank you for tuning in today to receive and relate. Announcement number one. Go to www.thelinkisup. The link is up. The link is up. You know, if you're on a if you're on a laptop or desktop, it's up there <clears throat> underneath my border or whatever you call that thing <laughs> but go to nonetheless go to www.receivingrelate.com and subscribe to the website okay this way you'll be get all the new uh emails i'm gonna be pushing out emails so y'all be the first to know things right um then there's also on the page on the website a waiting list that you can join so that you'll be able to be notified when my first memoir called cage girl part one will be released you'll be able to see it and you'll be able to be notified before the public is notified okay so hurry up when you leave here go to www.receivingrelate.com subscribe to the website and then join the waiting list for the book if you want to right if you if you so please um also that's another announcement thank you holy spirit i am a giving coaching lessons if you are interested in some type of coaching also that the spec the spec the um what i specialize in is, is listed on the website too that's another thing you need to go to the website and if you are interested in coaching you are able to sign up on the website for um you can schedule yourself for um coaching session first 15 minutes is free for consultation and then um, there's a price for you I have a package and then whatever you want just go to the website and see if you are interested in coaching uh, from me okay I think that's it <laughs> and if I forgot anything else I will put it in the description box below thank you all again for listening today I will see you next time remember people receive when they can relate I love y'all bye